Greetings, friends, Endrica is with you and in this video I will tell you about Tinker Contract, a popular mod for creating new types of tools. It differs from similar mods in that an interesting system for creating tools by the type of constructor has been added here. You will have different parts, combining which you get new types of tools or old ones with unusual properties. In addition, this mod has the ability to create liquid versions of materials, that is, you will melt them in a special furnace, getting more resources at the output or combining resources to get new types of alloys. I also want to say thank you to those people who write such cool comments under my video and generally motivate me to continue to be creative. You can also become a part of them, and we are starting. About generation. This adds two new types of ore. Copper, which can be found in the ordinary world and cobalt, which can only be found in hell. Traveling through the worlds of Minecraft, you can meet such slug islands, where you can easily find slugs and a new kind of liquid slime, respectively. When you first enter the game, you will have a special book in your inventory called Materials and Were. Here you can learn about the basics of the Tinker Contract. I also want to note that the Tinker Contract is conditionally divided into sections, for each of which there is a book. The first book gets to you for free, but if you lost it, it also has a recipe. The following books also have recipes. At the very start, you have to make templates, here is their recipe and you immediately get several pieces. Next, you have to make the following two blocks, this is a part shaper and a casting station. Here are their recipes accordingly. Shapers of parts you can make primitive parts, from which later in the foundry station you will make simple tools. The basic materials are stone, wood, flint, leather, thread, bones, necrotic bones that fall from skeletons and dryers, vine. It is not necessary to use pure cobblestone or stone, you can use granite, diorite, andesite and shernite, but still in the end you will get a stone detail. By the same principle, you can use not only creepers, but also vines that can be found in various dimensions. I also want to note that some materials do not have all the detail templates available, but only certain ones. Let's go to the foundry station and see what you need, for example, to create a sword. We will need a blade and two handles, let's make them into shapers of parts. We've done the details, and now we're putting them in their respective slots. Congratulations! All other tools from this mod are made according to the same principle. Pay attention to the characteristics of your tool or weapon, they are different for each material, and if you use parts from different materials, you can get a completely unusual combination of characteristics. And here the current effects and modifiers for your instrument are shown. The tools and the contract stinker do not disappear, but they are running out of strength. Instead, you can repair them at the foundry station if you use the material from which they were made, the main one. The material from which the instrument is made is written first in its name. Also in the same tab, you can modify your tools or weapons by adding the appropriate modifier, just put it in the appropriate slots and take the upgraded tool. You can pump the tools several times, pay attention to these numbers. I will tell you more about modifiers and improvements in a separate video on Tinker Construction, because there are a lot of them and I want you to understand everything. Also, if you accidentally made a mistake when creating your tool, used the wrong part, you can replace it. Just take another part, go to the foundry stations in the repair and modification section, insert it into the appropriate slot and take the already modified tool. I also recommend you to make a box for parts, in it you can store unnecessary parts of tools so that they do not clutter up your inventory. And here is the recipe for this box. Tinker Construction also has its own workbench, it is called the Creation Station. And the peculiarity of this workbench is that the resources that you put in it will not fall out when you close the interface, they will remain in it. And here is his recipe. In addition, the chests and blocks of the Stinker contract can be grouped for convenient use using tabs. Unfortunately, you will not be able to make shaper parts from metals, so you need to make a primitive foundry. And before creating a foundry, you must prepare. You need to make fired bricks, but before that you have to make cement mortar. Cement mortar is made of gravel, clay and sand, ordinary or red. Burnt bricks, respectively, are made by roasting in cement mortar in the oven. 
And after you have made the bricks, you can already start creating a fired melting furnace, a heater, a casting table, a tank and a fired crane. Now you can build this structure. We put a heater, a melting stove on top, then a casting table and a crane. We will use something combustible as fuel. Fuel can be thrown into the heater itself, or into the melting furnace itself, by opening and placing it here. You will be able to melt ores, ingots, nuggets, tools or parts of armor. Remelting the roof in this plavin will give you, in addition to the ingot, some more nuggets. The disadvantage of this melting pot is that it can contain only one type of molten liquid and does not know how to make alloys of different materials. We have liquid metal, let's make the first metal part. To do this, we will need to craft a casting billet. We take it and click on the front table. Now let's take some detail from a cheap material, I took a stone and right click it on the casting table with a sand. The second click takes the part, then we click on the tap and wait for our part to freeze. We will get a part that can already be used at the foundry station. That's how metal parts are made. To be honest, this method is not the most convenient, so now we will make a reusable mold. For it, we will need to melt two bars of gold. Next, you can again take some part from a cheap material, but this time I will take an ingot. Click on the faucet and fill it. In the process, the ingot will be lost, but you will get a reusable mold into which you can pour the ingots. In the same way, you can make nuggets. If you replace the foundry table with a foundry tank and fill it with liquid, so much so that you have it filled completely, the liquid should be enough for 9 ingots, then as a result you will get a block of material. Thus, if you have excess liquid left, you cannot throw it away, but return to a solid state again. That's all for me, and Andrika was with you, so far.